All right, y'all. So thanks for coming to Power Hour today. We got six good exercises for you today, working full body. Um, we got two strength, two cardio, two core. They're all kind of uh, they're all kind of alternating, so we're not stuck doing a bunch of strength stuff all uh, together, stuff, a bunch of cardio stuff all together. So y'all know the deal. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Go at your own pace. I'm going to give uh, both a kind of normal variation, and then either an advanced modification or a uh, a little easier modification. So choose whatever is best for you. We got three rounds here. Let's go ahead and get going with a warm up. So let's start just by getting that body temperature up with some jumping jacks. We're going in three, two, one, go. Just warming that body up, getting it ready for all six of these power hour moves we're getting ready to get into. All right, y'all, we got three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna move to ankle knee pull. Working a little bit of balance here. Take that foot, grab the ground with it, drive that big toe into the floor, grab the ankle and the knee, pull up as high as you can, squeeze that glute on the, on the down leg. And then we're just gonna alternate here. We're gonna shoot for about five on each side. Don't feel like you gotta count. Just take it nice and slow. We're bringing that leg out into, into external rotation of the hip, which is gonna get that glute woken up. You should be feeling a nice stretch in that hip capsule. Great one to loosen up those hips after we spent a lot of time sitting this morning. <laughs> All right, let's do one more on each side. Perfect. All right, next we're going to go inchworm, true inchworm. Knees stay straight, hands come down to, to the floor. Walk yourself out. I want you to give me a push up while you're down here. Whether you need to go from the knees or from the feet, it's completely up to you. Push up, and then take your feet and walk them back towards your hands using only your ankles. I know there's a lot going on with this one. So we'll go over it again. Hands come down, walk it out. Squeeze those glutes, give me a push up. Then take those feet, trying to keep your knees straight, walk your feet back in towards your hands as far as you can, and then stand back up. We're gonna do a couple more of these. So keep it going. Feeling that tension built up in the hamstrings on the back of the legs. We got the shoulders going. We got the chest going with the push up. We got everything going. And then let's do one more. Walking it out, keeping the core tight, push up. Walk those hand, our feet back in towards the hands. Excellent. <clears throat> then we're gonna go just some shoulder circles as if they weren't already woken up. But we're gonna start going forward, make them small. We're gonna progressively get them bigger, so take them a little bigger. Whether you wanna make a fist or you wanna go fingers outstretched is up to you. Keep still going forward, let's make them a little bigger. And then let's take them as big as we can. Overlap. Let's go one, two, total of three. And there's the third one. Shake it out. Hopefully that created a little bit of a shoulder burn. I know it did for me. Now we're gonna do the same thing going backwards, trying to wake up a little bit of the back and the rear of the shoulders. So we're starting small. We're gonna take it a little bigger. A little bigger than that, not as wide as we can just yet. And then now let's take them overlapping as big as we can. Nicely done. Shake it out. And that is it for the warm up. Let's go through these exercises real quick and then we'll get that timer going and we'll hop right into it. So, first one is going to be a leg exercise. We've got some leg strength going on. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge. So that's crossing behind. We're gonna come down, feet together, back into a normal athletic stance. And then we're gonna do a jump squat. 
We're gonna alternate. So it's curtsy, feet together, jump squat, stand back up, curtsy on the other side. <clears throat> Modification for this is gonna be curtsy, squat to calf raise, curtsy, squat to calf raise. So you got your two options there. Then we're gonna move to the floor for number two. We got reverse snow angels. So the same movement you would do doing a snow angel. I want you on your stomach doing the same movement. So try to get your thighs up off the floor as you do that and hands off the floor above your head. As the legs come out, the arms come, come down and vice versa. Number three is gonna be lateral high knee sprints. So we are going to be just sprinting it out. Notice that when my knee comes up, opposite elbow comes forward. And we're just using the space that we have. Obviously, if you wanna take it lower impact, you're doing steps. Higher impact, you're actually doing the sprint. Number four is gonna be on the floor again. We are going to drive our elbows into the floor, row, glute bridge, row, glute bridge. We want to take it harder. I want y'all to hold each position. So it's about two seconds, then drive through the floor, get your butt up, two second hold there as well. I'll cue y'all on that as we get into it. Second to last exercise is just a front jack, cardio exercise. Hands overlap, jump the feet out. Very similar to the jumping jacks we were just doing, but a little more intensive on the shoulders. And then to finish, we got a core exercise. We're gonna take a high plank position. We're gonna jump the feet out for four plank jacks. And then we're going four plank reaches, two on each side alternating. Notice when I do these, I'm staying square. I'm not allowing my hip to drop as I lift this arm up. If you need to, you can go from the knees. So you do your plank jacks from your feet, and then you do your plank reaches from your knees. All right, y'all. We're gonna get going with that curtsy lunge to squat jump in five, four, three, two, one, go. Cross behind, feet together, jump squat. Soft landing with those hips and knees. Same thing on the other side. Make sure you're standing all the way up after you finish this squat jump so that you can properly sink down for that curtsy lunge. Stay with it y'all, halfway, 20 seconds to go. Remember, low impact, cut the jump out. Just do that squat to calf raise like I'm doing right now. And we got five, four, three, two, one, time. Shake those legs out. I know they're burning. Now we're going to the floor. We got our reverse snow angels coming up next. Three, two, one. Extend arms and legs. Arms come down, legs come out. You wanna make this a little easier? Don't worry about the legs, just do the arms. You wanna make it tougher? Put them together. Remember, don't crank your neck on this, so don't look up. Try to look down at the floor. Keep that nice neutral neck. Ooh, we got that backside burning, stay with it. 10 seconds to go. And we got five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, y'all, we're working back to standing. Got our lateral high knee sprints coming up next. Ooh, catch your breath. And we got three, two, one. Opposite arm and leg come up, and we're sprinting with it. High knees, covering as much distance as you can with the space you have available right now. Try to stay moving. 
You want lower impact, take it to steps, but don't keep, don't stop from moving. <clears throat> we want that heart rate through the roof. By the end of this, we got 15 seconds to go. Stay with it. Home stretch, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo. Control that breathing. We're bringing it to the floor again. And we got our floor row. So we're driving the elbows into the floor. Then we're driving through the heels to pick our butt up. We're going in three, two, one, begin. Drive your elbows in the floor for two seconds. Come back down, drive through the heels, two seconds, squeeze those glutes. We're going back and forth. If you need help getting up on this portion with your elbows into the floor, use your abs a little bit to pull yourself up before you switch it and move to those legs. Stay with it, y'all. We got five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, real quick, back to standing. Stay with me, y'all. We got just two more to go. We got our front jacks. So we're here. Three, two, one. Feet start together, hands are overlapped, and we're going now. Lower impact would be step out front jacks. So you've got a lower impact version if you need it. Otherwise you can come with me and do the higher impact front jack. Keep those elbows straight if you can. Feel that burn in the heart and in the entire body, especially the shoulders on this one. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, shake it out. We got one more. We're in plank position, so we're dropping it to the floor. We're starting in a high plank, top of the push-up. Remember, we're jumping our feet out for four, and then we're reaching for four. Go in now. So jumping out, we're stepping out. Total of four times. And then we're doing plank reaches. So make sure your feet are hip width apart. Reach your arm up. Hold it for a second. Keep your belly tight. We're shooting for a core exercise here. Once you get two on each side, you're going back to the plank jacks. Remember, resist rotation at the hips when you go to do the raise for the reach. 10 seconds to go. And we got three, two, one, time. Whew, good job, y'all. All right, we got just over a minute before we get back into it for round two. So grab some water, towel off if you got one. And now you know what you're up against. So mentally prepare yourself for everything we're getting ready to do again. Keep in mind some of those adjustments. If you want to take on more of a challenge, I'm going to give you all a different modification for that floor row to glute bridge. I'll show it to you when we get to it. You can choose to do the single leg with me or stay with the double leg that we've been doing. Everything else stays the same though. All right, y'all, we got 15 seconds to go. Control that breathing. Try to return yourself to baseline before we take it back up. All right, y'all, starting with that curtsy lunge and squat jump. Three, two, one, begin. Curtsy cross behind, feet together. Squat jump, make sure you stand back all the way up. 
so that you can <clears throat> adequately get down for that curtsy. Stay with it, y'all. 20 seconds to go. Remember, you want to squat and calf raise with it to go lower impact. You can definitely do that. And we got five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, bring it down to the floor. We got a reverse snow angels next. All the way down, three, two, one, go. Arms come down as the legs come out. Remember, be nice to your neck. Look down towards the floor. Feel that burn on every part of the back side of your body. 20 seconds to go here. Come on, don't let up yet. 10 seconds. And we got three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. Press back up. We're working our way back up to standing. We got those lateral high knee sprints. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you got opposite starting. That'll get you in the right sequence. And then stay moving on this one. You're just absolutely toast. You can take it to the lower impact but at least here you're still moving. We got 15 seconds to go. Fight it, y'all. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Control that breathing. We're taking it down to the floor on our backs. We got that floor row. If you want to make it harder, do your row and then single leg. We're going now. Elbows into the floor, two second hold. Come down, harder version. Single leg up, two second hold. Back down, row. Back down, other leg, single leg. So that's your advanced modification here. You want to keep it on the normal one, do your row, two second hold, both legs and feet driving to the floor for a two second hold. And we got three, two, one, time. Nicely done. Work it back up to standing. We got two more. We're moving to our front jack. Hands overlap, three, two, one, go. Remember if you need to, you can take it to step out. A little less impact on the knees here. Halfway y'all, just over 20 to go. Stay with it. Almost there. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, last one. We're down in plank position. Four plank jacks, four plank reaches. Three, Two, one, go. Remember, this is a core exercise. So I want 
your midsection as tight as you can get it. Pull that navel to your spine like someone's going to punch you in the stomach. Have that rock hard midsection so you can fight any rotation when you go to do these reaches. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, time. Whew. Good job, y'all. Minute 15 to recover. Control your breathing. Big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Then grab some water. Y'all are doing fantastic. We got two rounds down, one to go. All right, y'all, 30 more seconds. You made it through two. You just got one more to go. I think it's time to lose a layer. All right, we're going in 20 seconds, starting with our curtsy to squat jump. So try to get as far over as you can, feet together, jump as high as you can without hitting your ceiling if you've got a low one like I do. All right, we're going in 10 seconds. This is it, y'all, home stretch, final round. Three, two, one, curtsy, feet together. Squat jump it. Remember, try to land soft with those hips, knees, and ankles. Ideally, you can't even hear yourself land if you're cushioning well enough. Halfway, 20 seconds to go here. Oh yeah, those legs are screaming. Stay with it, y'all. We got five to go. Three, two, one, time. All right, now we're moving to the floor. We got a reverse snow angel. Control that breathing. Get ready to bring it. Three, two, one, go. So remember, if this gets to be too much, you can always leave the, leave the legs down and just do the arms. And then if you want to take it back up, get those legs back involved. 20 to go. Come on, y'all. I know it's tough. You got 10 seconds. That's it here. 10 seconds. Keep fighting for three, two, one. Time. Well done. All right, drive it back up. Next, we got our lateral high knee sprints or side high knee sprints. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you got opposite arm coming up as the knee comes up. Stay with it, y'all. I know this one's tough to do once you're already out of breath. Control that breathing as much as possible. 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, y'all, we're moving to the floor on our backs. We got that floor row with that glute bridge. Three, two, one. Drive those elbows into the floor. Two second hold. Come back down. 
Give me that glute bridge. Two second hold. Squeeze as hard as you can. We're alternating back and forth. Last time doing these, y'all. Stay strong. We got 15 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one, time. Well done. All right, second to last one, front jacks. Going in five, four, three, two, one, go. Second to last one here, y'all. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. That doesn't mean you slow down though. I want y'all sprinting through that finish line. Twenty seconds to go here. Ten seconds. Don't let up yet. Three, two, one, time. All right, this is it, last one. High plank position. We got our four plank jacks. Four alternating reaches. Three, two, one, begin. Remember when you do these reaches, you want your feet about hip width apart. Wider makes it slightly easier. Closer together makes it harder. Keep your belly tight here. You only got 20 seconds to go. Don't let go of that core brace. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Whew. Good job, y'all. Stay on the floor here. I want you to work your way down to your butt. Let's catch our breath here for a second before we reach for a hamstring stretch. The good news is we're nice and warm. <clears throat> so these stretches will be very, very effective. All right, nice big deep inhale. Let's try for three to four seconds. And then I want a longer than four second exhale. I know it's hard to do when you're breathing heavy. So take another couple breaths before you try that again. <clears throat> Breathe out, three second inhale through the nose. Long exhale through the mouth. Let's do two more from wherever you're at. And then I want you to exhale and reach for the toes. So we got a nice hamstring stretch going on here. We definitely work those legs pretty good. And then relax. We're gonna cross one foot over the opposite thigh and then hug that knee for a glute stretch. And then relax, switch to the other side. Hopefully y'all are getting as much relief as I am from these. You know, we, uh, we beat the glutes up pretty good too.
Perfect. Then what I want you to do is flip over. So I want you kneeling first. Clasp your hands, clasp your hands behind your back and press down. So we got a little chest stretch going here. Try not to let your ribs flare too much. Don't let them rise up. So keep your belly braced. And then let's release on three, two, one, release. And then last thing, I want you to give me a chaturanga or a cobra. So push up, come down, keep those knees on the floor. As you press up, look up towards the ceiling. So we're stretching out those abdominals. Make sure those ears aren't driving towards your shoulders. Create some separation there. And then I want you to big inhale. As you exhale, press back into child's pose. Loops on your heels. I want three big deep breaths here. Rest your forehead on the floor and then we'll be done. All right, y'all start wiggling stuff. Work your way back up, shake it out. And that is it for today. Thanks so much for joining me for Power Hour, y'all.